Welcome to section 8 of our course. In this section, we will explore how ChatGPT can assist you in your software development journey. We will also cover a range of features that ChatGPT offers to help you with research, code generation, style matching, debugging, and documentation. Starting with section 8.1, research, writing, and debugging code. So in order to make informed decisions in software development, research is crucial. ChatGPT can help you compare programming languages, frameworks, and libraries. For example, here, I wanna build a deep learning model for image classification, but I'm not sure which Python library should I pick. Is it PyTorch or TensorFlow? So by asking ChatGPT this question, it will basically compare between both in terms of many factors, and this will help me make the better decision depending on my project. There is also here another format of the prompt where I say I want to build and I describe my project and I want to compare between option one and option two and these options can be programming languages or frameworks or libraries, which one is better and why. So you can use any of these prompts, they deliver the same purpose basically. Code generation is another feature that ChatGPT offers. You can generate boilerplate code for a specific function using a particular programming language, framework, and version. For example, we can ask ChatGPT to generate boilerplate code that integrates an external API using Python. Style matching is another critical feature of ChatGPT that ensures your code follows industry standards and conventions. ChatGPT can help you regenerate your code following a specific standard, such as pip8, docstring, OOP, exception handling, and unit testing, and any other industry standard available. So all you need to do is to ask ChatGPT to regenerate the code using a specific standard, and after that you need to paste your code. Another thing that you can do regarding style matching is to match your coding styles with your colleagues, for example. In other words, it can follow the naming conventions, spacing, and commenting styles with your colleagues. In this prompt, I'm telling ChatGPT to act as a professional software engineer. You will give it a piece of code written by a colleague followed by another piece of code written by me. And ChatGPT's job will be to match your code with your colleague's code in terms of writing style, naming conventions, spacing, and commenting style. Debugging code is often a challenging task for software engineers. ChatGPT can assist you in identifying issues in your code and suggest ways to fix them. All you need to do is to use this prompt that asks ChatGPT to debug your code and provide ChatGPT with a code snippet and the description of the problem that you have received from your coding editor. Finally, ChatGPT can assist you with writing test cases. In this example prompt, I'm asking ChatGPT to act as a software engineer tasked with writing test cases for a new feature that has been added to the company's web application. Its task will be to create a series of test cases that will help ensure the feature is working as expected and will not introduce any bugs or errors into the application. ChatGPT will provide you with detailed and clear test cases that cover a range of scenarios and then you add your feature or the code description. So that's it for section 8.1. I look forward to seeing you in section 8.2 where I'll be showing you more examples where software engineers can use ChatGPT for code explanations and documentation. Welcome to section 8.2, code explanations and documentation. In this section, I will show you how ChatGPT can help you explain your code to others or even explain codes to you and also, I will show you how to utilize using ChatGPT to generate documentations and commenting for your code. To start with, we have here code explanations. In the first prompt, we are asking ChatGPT to explain a code. So you just need to paste the code and it, it will explain it to you. In the second prompt, we want ChatGPT to explain the code to someone who has no coding or software engineering background because sometimes as software engineer, you are required to explain your codes to various stakeholders in the company who might not have any software engineering background. In the third example, we are asking ChatGPT to explain a code for a 10 year old kid. 
And by the way, sometimes we get these questions in an interview for software engineering positions. Another area where ChatGPT can be very helpful is code documentation. In this, in this prompt, I'm asking ChatGPT to generate documentation for the code below, and it will include detailed instructions to allow a developer run it on a local machine and explain what the code does and list all vulnerabilities that exist in the code. In addition, ChatGPT can be quite useful in code commenting. We can provide ChatGPT with a code and it will add any necessary comments to your code. Also, providing ChatGPT with your code, it can include a comment to each line of your code if this is what you want. In addition, ChatGPT can be very, very useful in, in technical writing. As a software engineer, you can use ChatGPT for technical writing in three areas. First, API documentation. You can use ChatGPT to generate API documentation based on the code and the comments in your API source code, which can save you time and ensure that your API documentation is up to date and accurate. In addition, we can also write technical reports with the help of ChatGPT. ChatGPT will help you write technical reports that summarize the results of a project or the progress of a particular feature, ChatGPT can help you write clear, concise, and organized reports that effectively communicate technical information to stakeholders. Last but not least, user manuals. ChatGPT can help you write user manuals for software applications outlining how to use the software, navigate its features, and troubleshoot common issues. And this can help you provide clear instructions to users and improve their experience with the software. And there will be no dedicated video for section 8.3 because I'm currently building it, but it's, uh, it's extras for software engineers. So as a first example, you can use ChatGPT to generate regular expressions. So you can provide it with this prompt, generate regex that match any pattern that you want. So in this example, um, I want to match an email address or a YouTube link. We can do that. And I'm currently building this section. So as I told you, I use this document as a reference for me. So whenever I find a useful use case for ChatGPT in software engineers, I'll add it here and I will keep you updated. So thank you for watching this lecture. Congratulations on completing it. And I really look forward to seeing you in the next lecture, which is also very important. And I use it myself a lot, which is to use ChatGPT in the startup world. See you there.